Hello and welcome to the Delaware Mortgage Rate Weekly Update for the week of August 27, 2012. Hello, I'm John Thomas with Primary Residential Mortgage here to give you your update. So if we look at the bond chart that's on the screen, we can see last week was a great week for mortgage rates. Over the last two and a half weeks, you can see the bond has been getting lower and lower, so it was selling off, which uh, had forced home loan rates to rise over the last two and a half weeks. And then we had this huge rebound last week, as you can see from the chart, and home loan rates did have significant reversal and are much better. Um, what you can't see, though, is Fridays uh, didn't make it on there. Friday, we did see a slight sell-off on Friday, so rates got slightly worse, but still way better than they have been for the last two and a half weeks. So we are recommending locking in your Delaware mortgage rate right now to take advantage of these much better rates because the market is volatile, as we saw on Friday. We could see some uh, reversal of trends from selling off. It just depends. The market is, is you know, it's going one way or the other. Investors are taking their, uh, when they have a huge run-up like that, the bond market short-term will sell to get some profit. So we definitely recommend locking in, taking advantage of these loan, low, low rates. It's a great time to purchase, great time to refinance. Now what caused that huge rebound in the market? Well, the Federal Open Market Committee released the minutes of their meeting, which they had, and that's when they released it. They're basically, one of the big things is, they almost came out and said they're going to do QE3, uh, which is quantitative easing round three, where they're going to start buying bonds again, maybe treasuries to help stimulate the economy, to try and push our economy back into a recovery, and the big thing is try and improve this drop market. Um, they also stated the housing market is still depressed uh, as a national thing, and they also stated consumer spending has slowed. And again, consumers not spending money will not help a recover. We need to get consumers out spending, we need to get uh, businesses hiring, we need to create jobs. So basically the, the minute said our economy is hurting, we're in bad shape, unemployment is still high, we may have to do another round of QE3. So all of that was great news for bonds, pulled money out of the stock market into the bond market, which is a safe trade, and as a, as a result of that, we got better rates. So that's great news for home loan rates. Um, there was some slightly good news last week. We did see the existing home sales and new home sales reports came out, and they said that July was better than June. So home sales for July were better than June. So that's good news. Still weren't all in line if you look at the chart of where they need to be. It's still not enough home sales to create a recovery. And even if we do start getting more home sales, we still have another thing to deal with called the shadow inventory. Fannie Mae just released numbers, so this is not speculation. They said right now there's 109,000 homes been repossessed. 50,000 uh, 50, of those homes are not on the market currently. That's half of the homes they've repossessed are not on the market. This is this thing called the shadow inventory. These bank-owned homes, which have not been put on the market for sale, you cannot buy them. So eventually they do need to go through the system. So if we start a recovery and then this huge shadow inventory hits the market, it's going to stop the recovery and could cause home loan rates to drop back down. I mean, not rates, but home prices to drop back down. So uh, if you look at the market right now, we've had a good bit of a recovery uh, or stabilizing in the market, and, and people believe we can absorb some of the shadow inventory, so they do believe we should start releasing some of that now and not hold on to it to get it absorbed through while we do have low rates and buyers out in the market. Um, and that's just Fannie Mae's numbers. So you've got Freddie Mac, you've got HUD, you've got you know the big banks, Wells Fargo, Bank of America, Chase, City. All those banks have homes that they've repossessed that are not on the market. That is the shadow inventory. We need to get that out on the market. We have to deal with it at some point. Uh, my belief is let's deal with it now. Let's you know stop the bleeding. Let's just get it on the market. Get them sold and get it off our plate. And then the market can get back to where it needs to be. Um, and also in the national news, USDA, October 1st, it's a big change coming for them. A lot of places no longer eligible for financing, which as far as we know right now, that would be the incorporated area of Middletown, the incorporated area of Smyrna. So if you're trying to purchase there and use a USDA loan, give me a call right away. We need to get you in now because you need to close by September 28th. Um, October 1st, new guidelines go into effect, and the monthly mortgage insurance premium is also increasing from 0.3 to 0.4 percent of those USDA loans. So, if you're in a USDA loan considering one, give me a call 302-703-0727. I can help you out, and we can get you going. Uh, local news: We've got the next free first-time home buyer seminar in Newark. That's at the Christiana Hilton Hotel. Two sessions to choose from: 10 a.m. to noon, or 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. You can register for either one. That's right at the Hilton. The next one, and that's uh, Saturday, September 22nd. 
10 a.m. to noon, 1 to 3. The next one in Dover is Tuesday, September 25th, and that's 6.30 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. at the Dover Sheraton, right on Route 13. You can register for either one by calling 302-703-0727, or you can register online, www.delawarehomebuyerseminar.com, delawarehomebuyerseminar.com. Now, if you would like to take advantage of these historically low rates, unbelievable buying power right now to purchase or refinance, give us a call. We'll help you out. Um, 302-703-0727. You can also apply online, PRMIDelaware.com, www.PRMIDelaware.com. A lot of programs to help you refinance. You can lower your term from 30 to 15 and maybe keep your payment the same. You've got Streamlines, which is like the FHA Streamline, the VA Streamline, which is no income verification, maybe no appraisal depending on your situation. There's the HARP 2.0 program, which even if you're underwater, you owe 120% of what your home is worth, you can still refinance using that program. So give us a call. Love to help you out. And until next week, I'll see you then.